Giddy charges in, shoots it over the top of Ingram, banks it home. That is a strong move and a strong finish by Josh Giddy, holding off his defender and able to finish with some poise off the glass. Somebody's got to come up and force Chris Paul to grab this basketball. Shot clock has not started. The game clock has started. Chris Paul is trying to run down this clock to condense this game. Finally, Shea comes up, forcing him to make a move. Shot clock does not start until he touches the basketball. Game clock keep, keeps running. Sham it, open. Oh, he's been flat on his threes all night. Victoria Craig for Phoenix in the second half. Giddy finds an open man. It's Isaiah Joe, and he hits from three. Finally gets him to drop in. The man is not going to stay on the rim. Very long for Isaiah Joe. Ball around the screen. It's Durant again. Sideline Kevin Durant. Back to back threes. Big ones for the Suns. Are two massive shots. Joe nearly the same spot this time. And he drives too strong on the layup. And Chris Paul trying to call out the play as he trots it across midcourt. Six point game. KD's got 10, 8 this time on the drive and dive. Boy, Phoenix doing exactly what Nick with fourth quarter points. Thunder have shrunk this game, tightened this game. Isaiah Jungle, SGA, Dort, J Dub, and Wiggins for the Thunder. SGA bounces off the direct, shot on the way. Oh, it does a complete 360 on the cylinder before spinning out. The Thunder has had a lot of shots. So just like that in this ball game. Great looks that have just rimmed in and out. Phoenix turnover, set it up, door at the fast break, missed the dunk, J. Will put back good. And he got fouled. And another follow play by J. Dub. He's got 12 points after the end one. You couldn't even hear the whistle, it got so loud. Just had to wait for the official to gesticulate the call. Phoenix has been giving the ball to Durant. Makogi, little up and under. Shea looked like he blocked it momentarily, but the whistle on a foul. Good game day ready with the latest under in his first year with the Suns. First four with Minnesota. Missed them both at the line. Massive misses for Akogi. He's not an offensive guy. See if the cutter can take advantage of this possession. Shea lost his balance. And a timeout. The timeout got granted before the jump. Reliable off the bench for OKC. SGA is going to face up. Up top is Skinny. That one was short and wide. Booker, foul. And for OKC, there's two team fouls prior to that dunk. The extra 16 points in the fourth quarter. Booker has been neutralized up to this point, but it's been Durant. Spins right into a potential double team, trying to pass over to Aiden. Eight. eight and a half strip by Dort, fighting for that loose ball. Swings over, now inside. Aiden's going to get tied up by SGA, who did not want it. Two big ones here after a Kogi missed two. First one drops in. And the Suns have been able to fend off the Thunder in this fourth quarter. And the second one is going for Aiden. So the lead for the Suns, push back up to seven. And the Thunder could have got away multiple times, have not got away tonight. Jacob, he spun into a double team. Giddy will drive. Outside, Jacob didn't settle for the three. Tough shot. No. And the weak side rebound to Durant. He has just been a total game changer for the Suns. Those two massive threes. They keep the Thunder at arm's length. Now it's Booker. In front of one of the two team hit. Someone's going to be open for Phoenix. It's in inside. And that time he got the dunk. The Thunder did not foul. And so that's four big points for the Andre. And 
That's the risk you run. Right. Harris ready double team Booker out the front. Those rotations, that's what makes the Suns so dangerous. They've got guys who can score at every position. Shaggy get an easy layup at the rim there. Trying to keep that scoreboard moving for OKC. See if the Thunder double again, and Booker trying to get rid of it. He turned it over. Shaggy on the back. Including Shea, didn't get the dunk. Durant with the recovery, and now Phoenix can run some clock. Seven point game, that'll be a kick ball. And the shot clock will go up to 14, so it... Shea immediately in protest. He's got a good argument there. So now they got to play defense, seven point game. Ball, ball fake, had some space and Chris Paul, just like the first possession of the fourth quarter for the Suns, with an expiring shot clock, that is a huge three, and Shea, quickly down the court, gets fouled. And Shea, 14 out of 14, on the backside of 17 out of 17, but Kevin Durant and Chris Paul here in the fourth quarter, the veterans, doing what you would expect from two future Hall of Famers, with some massive shots made. And Shea is going to get the bounce. You can see the fight from this Thunder team. Trailblazers is going to be 16 at one point. And Chris Paul is going to call timeout. So the ball inbounded by Paul to Durant. Thunder will go for the steal. If not, they're going to have to think about fouling. Chris Paul is going to try to run out some clock. Ball goes up to Booker. Right back to Paul. He's been working offense from the perimeter. Leaves Kevin Durant open, and Kevin Durant is going to seal this for Phoenix. He has had the biggest shots of the game. That's his third, fourth quarter three, and they have all been huge. Giddy back to the three of his own. 38 seconds left. Phoenix out of timeouts. As Paul's going to race it up the floor, Dirk reaches from behind, that'll be a foul. Foul number 15 shots in the fourth quarter. The big difference is the Thunder once again mounted a huge comeback. More free throws here for SGA, 30 seconds. Little pressure in the backcourt, Durant using his size, skied up and caught it, and then passes over to a teammate, and it doesn't look like the Thunder are going to foul quickly. As Phoenix able to move the basketball, playing keep away from Oklahoma City. Sham it, and that's a three. So the Thunder did what they could in the second half, in the fourth quarter. Landed a couple of punches on the Suns, but too much from CP, too much from Durant.